Over half a century of self-government, over ten years of independence, isn't it time to reflect for a few moments to count our blessings? are a pretty mixed bunch, but we have a lot in common with each other. Especially during the show season, a countrywide event that attracts a complete cross-section of traditions. It's the great event of the year. Common interests bring us together. No matter how small or scattered a community, it will form itself into some social group or other. against us, we face the challenges and overcome them together, achieving a quality of life many other countries envy. Go from one end of the country to the other and we see our towns and cities ticking along in their own individual way at their own chosen pace. seems to change, but change it does. There's always something new, one thing follows another, and almost imperceptibly, life becomes richer and fuller. Of course, progress brings along the occasional problem. Pollution was one of them, but we nipped it in the bud. We've made sure we can go on breathing the pure air. We've always been conservation conscious.
our size, we have more national parks, reserves, and sanctuaries dotted over the land than any other country in Africa. So many, in fact, that Rhodesia is practically one vast national park in itself. inspired that greatest of all Rhodesian traditions, the Sundana. circumstances of today. Their inventiveness and ingenuity are of the caliber that built Rhodesia. Our young scientists are always coming up with something new and winning international recognition. together and do things, it's the youngsters. What were their sports, clubs, associations and organizations offering so many activities to bring out the best in them, they develop their talents and skills to the full. Many of the activities are part-time, others are part of the school curriculum. It's never too early for young Rhodesians to get to grips with the ecology. School camps in the wild spell it out in simple terms, right on the spot. Our educational system is second to none. Perhaps unique in this day and age, there's still good old-fashioned discipline and the student-teacher relationship. Our youngsters lead a pretty full life. Radisha, after all, is very much a children's world. lead a pretty full life. Like our workaday world, it's quite a busy scene. In the industrial field, our factories are turning out four times more than they did ten years ago. Without any great fanfare, industry's expanding all the time, and our mining output has tripled, with new mines opening up all over the country. We live in industrial peace, with just an occasional strike here and there. In our broad Rhodesian workaday world, whatever our standing, we're all interdependent. Visitors sometimes say our methods are unhurried, even leisurely. Maybe so, but the rat race is foreign to our way of life. We like it that way. We've got some of the nicest nurses in the world. Efficient too. No wonder we've also got one of the best health services. In medical research, 
way ahead in the fight against malaria and Bilhazia. country hasn't these days. But some are seasonal, and there's not much we can do about that. Even so, in two recent rainy seasons, nature flooded us with generosity. She filled our dams and gave us bumper crops. Once in a while, when we want to get away from it all, and everyone else, there's a freedom and spaciousness that lets us spread out as far and as wide as we wish, depending on the mood. to be away from it all and everyone else for too long. There's plenty to do near a home. are a mixed bunch, all right, and we understand each other. 
nowhere so well as up in the operational area. And while we're reflecting on our blessings, let's remember a very important blessing, the spirit of everyone up at the sharp end. Army, Air Force, police, civilians, they add up to the most efficient striking force against terrorism in the world. Thank you.